Welcome to another year of Spanish. Let's go over a few classroom rules and expectations. Will I like this class? Will this class be fun? No, you'll love it. Foreign languages are fun and very different from many of the other classes you can choose from in school. I'll teach you anything appropriate that you'd like to know, but it's up to you to help make class a fun place to be. It takes teamwork and participation. The faster you respond, the faster class can move. Will Spanish class be hard? Oh, it's certainly fun, but it can be confusing to some. Always, always remember that I'm here to help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Is there any homework? I don't believe in a great deal of homework. As you are studying the material daily, spending some time every other day studying what you might be having difficulties with in the classroom. You may notice the little homework that will go home will be in the form of goal writing or reflecting, flashcard web links, and perhaps videos. Let me explain. This is called flipped instruction. By watching the videos and completing a brief assignment afterwards, you'll have a heads up on the next class period. I'll do my best to give you two or three days to attempt this when possible. What do I need for this class? I ask that all students have a folder dedicated to Spanish. Always come with paper and a pencil or pen to take notes and that iPad too. Always have goals. Start setting them now. No one goes anywhere in life without them. And that means we will also be reflecting on our goals too. A dictionary is okay, but you can use those that are in the classroom or in the library. Make certain that you have Word reference downloaded on your iPad and you'll have it made. Your iPad is your textbook and your everything. Coming to class without your iPad can put you greatly behind. Number five, do you have any rules? I really dislike those lengthy lists of rules, so I only have three simple rules. Number one, respect. Respect me by doing your daily assignments speaking to me in such a matter, and respecting each other, everyone in class. No one needs to be laughed at. If this isn't followed, don't expect to remain in my classroom. Number two, no gum or candy is allowed, unless I'm the one giving it to you. Speaking in a language is an important component of language learning. You need to be able to sp speak and understand you. If you're seen with gum, your daily grade will re be reduced to reflect this. Finally, number three, zero zeros. All work will be completed before the end of each chapter, test, or before a quiz. If you are not happy with your assessment grade, you can certainly schedule an appointment for reteaching and then reassess. How does Senora Hill grade anyway? In my eyes, each student starts with an A. It's your responsibility to maintain your desired grade throughout the school year. Each grade is recorded as points. However, there are four areas that determine your outcome, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. But there are other items to consider as well. Assessments, often worth two times the amount of a daily assignment. There's also semester projects. These are taken in December and May. And it's really up to you to determine what you want to do with your chapter project. The better your percentage, your average at that time though, the fewer the semester projects you'll have to do. Daily class participation. This is so important when you're learning to communicate in, a, in another language. If you volunteer information, your average will be much higher than students who choose not to become involved. When you participate, you learn. Each day, students will be called upon and graded on their responses in the target language of Spanish. If you wanna learn Spanish, then you have to speak it. And finally, portfolios. These are worth mega points, and they'll be completed at the end of each chapter. You simply keep your papers in your classroom portfolio, make sure they get scanned by myself or a TA, and then you place them on your website. Make sure that you use eBackpack to help you find that proof. It's so easy the way that it can be filed. And then we just print them off at a later date. There are also comprehension checks. After several days of practicing a new concept, a comprehension check or daily assignment or quiz will be given to make sure that you understand the material that we've been discussing. Most daily assignments can be completed within the class period, so the only homework is really you studying flashcards. 
And then there's daily bell ringers. Each day you'll be required to complete a bell ringer activity once the bell is rang. And these will be in regards to a grammar point or cultural point that we've already discussed in class. Or I might just check and see if you have some prior knowledge of it. If these are sketchy and you are having difficulties, then this is an indication that maybe you need to study at home. And if you don't even try, then you can't earn your own daily points. Number seven, how about late work or absences? If you are absent due to a school event, please read the handbook. Assignments, tests, or quizzes are to be turned in before participating or if you have discussed the matter with me first. If an assignment is not turned in, get it in immediately as all zeros will be made up before the last week of the quarter. Responsibility is a growing process, but high school students must possess the skill before exiting the school. The longer you wait, the more work will start piling up. Can we play with all your neat things? Respect all the items that are in the classroom. These are being supplied to you by the school district or by my own travels and income. If you need a hole punch, a stapler, a pencil, paper, tape, these items can be found by the class by the classroom door in the oh that drawer. Nine, what do we do with all these papers? Turn in and pick up everything via the bins, bins, not my desk. This classroom is nearly paperless, but you should keep and organize everything. You'll be asked to compile a portfolio at the end of each semester. Therefore, you must draw from previous assignment and projects upon the conclusion of each chapter. Many students save as much as possible on their iPads, an under e backpack, or their own personal folders. Can we get by cheating? This is one thing I do not tolerate. If you are caught copying work or using notes when not appropriate, you receive a zero in the gradebook. If you forge a parent's signature, they will be notified, and you'll be given a zero in the gradebook as well. If you learn anything other than language in this class, I hope that it is responsibility and time management. These are life skills. This is the only time that one will receive a zero, and then another activity will be given in its place. Number 11. Is there extra credit offered? No way, but there is a reassessment program. Students will have the opportunity to reassess any assessment to improve and become proficient in the language by following these simple steps. You may not reassess if you have not completed the daily work in class. And this includes late work, too. Step one, ask the teacher if you can fill out a simple calendar sheet. Step two, set up two dates with your teacher, one for reteaching and the other for the reassessment. It's at this point that you decide what we're going to work on. What do you struggle with the most? Number three, the teacher then signs the calendar and attaches the old assessment. These are taken home for your parent or guardian to sign as well as return. Step four, the student attends a reteach session with myself. Homework is given at the conclusion. This may be in the form of a worksheet or a small project or an online site to review with. This task must be completed before retesting occurs. And finally, step five, Stu the student then shows up on the predetermined date. This may be during their study hall, my planning period, before or even after school. Expectation agreement. Upon reading the attached with me, please share now three goals for you this year in Spanish class. Notice you have the exact paperwork that I have right on your desk in front of you. Be specific when writing your goals as we will be reflecting on these at the end of each semester. Remember, these three goals should be SMART goals. They should be specific, measurable, attainable, real, and time-bound. Ooh, and make sure to sign it once you've recorded three. This has now become your first assignment. After reading this attached with your parents, 
or showing them this awesome video, then share this material with your parents. Have them sign it and return it to me.